welcome to another amazing episode of the Lion Boss Podcast. I'm Heather Gray, aka the Lion Boss. I am a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and certified bioenergetic practitioner. And today we're going to be diving deep into the bioenergetics of Lyme disease or the bioenergetics of disease in general. I know my name is the Lion Boss, but in reality, I am a wellness coach, right? So whatever it is that you're dealing with, diabetes, weight gain, thyroid, mental health, like you fill in the blank. All the people that I have on my podcast and the topics that I talk about can be relatable to everybody. So don't just think because my name is the Lyme boss that this is specific, you know, specifically only towards people with Lyme. Yes, there's a huge Lyme slant because that is my story and that is my passion. Um, but anybody, anybody could benefit from the information that I give. So make sure too that if you like what I do, share, like, and subscribe. Make sure to go on to the Spotify page and donate. You know, help me continue to put out this amazing stuff. So if you find um, any any one nugget full of of inspiration throughout this show, please uh, help a sister out because this is a lot harder than most people realize, and it's quite the grind. And I need some help. I need some love. Show me some love. Let's dive into. I can't believe I haven't done an episode talking about the bioenergetics of disease. Um, so what do I mean by bioenergetics, right? <laughs> it's funny because I have been certified in several different um, bioenergetic type machines from the Nest to AO to Healy. Um, I've used Zyto, I've used Rife, and then recently I'm using um, Zyto again with essential oils and um, a life technology is what it's called. And so it's funny. I mean, I've been using this technology for over 10 years and have been certified in, in multiple, but it's it's still not something that I get up and I start with. And it's bizarre. I think it's because it could be really hard subject to get across eloquently, at least for myself, because I understood this type of stuff uh, uh, intuitively in the beginning, right? We've all heard it from, um, you know, Tesla to um, Albert Einstein. Everything is energy. Everything is matter. We're all energy right? Um, and frequency. And so the reason that, you know, that that opera singer can shatter that glass with her, her voice is because she's hit that, that frequency of the glass. And that's what Royal Rife was able to prove back in the 1930s is that when we hit that same frequency and vibrate it, that we can destroy it. So we all were electromagnetic beings, right? Our hearts have an electromagnetic field. Our brain has electromagnetic field that we can actually measure on an EKG, on an EEG. And the thing with that is um, if the brain and the heart are not coherent, that's what creates a lot of issues, a lot of disease, a lot of breakdown. And so it's funny for the longest time, you know, when I became a functional practitioner, you know, and kind of got away from the Western med model, you know, I was like functional practitioner, we get to the root cause of, of the malfunctions. And the more I dig deeper, the energetic body, the bioenergetic field has a tendency to be the actual root cause. Because if you think about it, if our, the way that we bring in information from the world is off, right? If we're no longer in tune with the earth's magnetic field, a lot of the supplements that we take, a lot of the diet that we have is actually not going to work to its full potential. So a lot of the, you know, ways of getting energy back in the body, getting things back up and running is, is actually working with that bioenergetic field. And so, you know, it can be such a kind of a complex uh, conversation to have, unless you've got a background in physics, um, which I always found fascinating, but again, it's not something that I can like speak about eloquently. Like I still, I kind of, I can grasp how TV and radio work, but really, you know, we're sending information on waves, frequencies of energy, you know, and then something else is, is picking up that energy and putting it into pictures for us, right? It's decoding it so we can hear the music. So it's no different than uh, when we're trying to heal, so mindset has a lot to do with this as well. You know, they say that um, certain, even emotions have secret, certain frequencies. And so if we're wanting to heal, right, 
and that's say it's like I'm just putting numbers out there. So that's at a hundred and point two. Are you wanting love? Are you wanting abundance? And all that stuff's at a hundred point two around there. But say you're you're tuning in to 94.5. Are you going to get that thing? Are you going to magnetize that thing into your life that you're looking for? No, because you're not dialed into the right TV show. You're not dialed into the right radio station. So you're not going to get this correct signal that we need to hear. Our bioenergetic fields have been bombarded these days with Wi-Fi, uh, artificial blue lighting, um, a lot of uh, geopathic stressors, um, toxins, um, bad thoughts, right? So our thoughts are also frequencies. So our thoughts can can produce certain responses in the body. I love, again, I, I use this example all the time, Louise Hay of Hay House, you know, talked about, you know, think of something that turns you on. Think of something that's sexy, right? And it's a perfect example how thoughts have um, control, not control, but um, have energy on your body. Because tell me, you're not going to get some sort of physical response out of that. Um, don't tell me that when somebody's walked into a room having a horrible freaking day that the whole energy of the room just shifts or vice versa. If somebody, you know, the room is kind of flat and weird and somebody walks in all sunshiny and happy and how that can shift the energy, right? So our cells, our bodies communicate through energy, light, and frequency. So like I said, when it comes to dealing with chronic illness, Lyme disease, cancer, you know, you name it, um, looking at and dealing with the bioenergetic field, getting grounded, right? Getting your feet outside on the earth and replugging into our battery, getting first morning sunlight on our eyes. There are a lot of things that we can do um, to help put us back into that resonance of our bioenergetic fields. Um, I like to work with tools with scanners, you know, so a lot of red light, um, bioenergetic tools, PEMF devices, uh, like the life scanner that I have, like the Zyto scanner that I have, the Zyto scanner. And what is so cool, it's actually I can send a person a link and with their phone, they take a scan of their face and it tells me what's out of balance. And then it'll tell me what oils and supplements will help put it back in balance. So I've only been using that for a couple of months and it's been quite fascinating and quite spot on. Um, really helped um, dial in my husband's sleep. Um, because yeah, it was ridiculous. Uh, so now he, he gets his own oils and diffuses them every night and it really helps him sleep. Um, you know, things like the Nikki device, you know, so this is, this is red light going through, um, that's delivering frequencies through a red light, you know, so there's a lot of really cool tools out there, you know, and there's been a lot of folks that have said that the future of medicine is going to be energy. It's going to be light. It's going to be sound. Right. So these different frequency based type um, modalities. So hopefully I stumbled through that well enough. Like I said, it's kind of sad that I after all these years, I can't speak about it more eloquently. But I hope I hope I made a little bit of sense to even just spark your own imagination to look further. You know, so that's why it's so important too to, you know, at night, making sure that your cell phone is on, if you've got it in your room, making sure that it's on airplane mode or it's at least plugged in, you know, clear across the room. Um, I shut my Wi-Fi off at night. So I have a timer um, on my Wi-Fi and it goes off every night at 11 o'clock and it comes back on every morning at six just to help your body recover, you know, from being inundated 24 sevens because we are electromagnetic beings to our core. And that's why a lot of these smartwatches and these rings aren't the greatest, especially if you can't turn off the Bluetooth because you really shouldn't be having something on your body 24 seven that you can't shut off the Bluetooth because it could be really harmful. Um, that's what I love about the Nikki that you can actually shut off the Wi-Fi. Um, when I was using a ring con to help with sleep, you could shut, you could put it in airplane mode and it would store all the data. And then I would just plug it in once to download the data. And then I'd put it back on airplane mode, you know, so there's little things, you know, I have my EMF rocks. You know, if you go to my website, you can go to the resource section. 
these things help ground you and mitigate, you know, the harmful effects of Wi-Fi. Um, so they're, you know, uh, around my workstation. The other thing, cactuses. Cactuses uh, have been known to help mitigate radiation and Wi-Fi. So again, like in electrolytes, minerals, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how important it is um, to make sure that your mineral content and your electrolytes are, are up and good because those are the spark plugs of our body. And that's how our body then, you know, continues to send signals. So if we're deficient in minerals, if we're deficient in electrolytes, the we're not going to be very strong conductors. So we're not going to, we're not going to have the synchronicity that we need to, or we're not going to be as coherent as we need to, um, for our bodies to work right, for our supplements to do their job, for our diet to do its job, for us to get a good night, restful sleep, all the things that we need in this life. So again, I know I stumbled through that. I felt like I stumbled through that a little bit. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully it's like I said, sparks your, um, uh, in uh, curiosity to dig a little deeper, you know, Dr. Um, Catherine Clinton, um, if you follow her on Instagram, uh, Kelly, Kelly Kennedy, Dr. Uh, Dr. Christine um, Schaffner, um, Bruce Lipton, uh, Joe Dispenza, Greg Braden, Abraham Hicks. Um, hopefully I'm not missing anybody, somebody really amazing, but you know, that can just help tap into that quantum just a little bit better than what I can explain. I just kind of wanted to drop that seed and, and start this conversation. I am in no means, even though I am certified in quite a few, I'm in no, I'm in no means an, an expert, um, especially when it comes to talking about the, the physics part of it, which I just find fascinating. I remember watching What the Bleep Do We Know and just falling in love. I think it was the second What the Bleep Do We Know, not the first one. Um, but just falling in love with the whole concept and physics, and it just made sense to me, you know, this silly ex hairstylist, you know, wanting to, de you know, dive deep into the physics. Um, sadly, me and math don't get along, and that that typically goes hand in hand with physics. Um, so, I, you know, I didn't dive deeper, but that whole quantum realm, you know, and, and we're starting to, it's starting to get more and more mainstream. So, uh, mark my words, if this is even the first time you've heard about it, you'd be like, oh my gosh, you know, 10 years from now, everything's quantum. You'll be like, I first heard it from the lab boss, you know, so <laughs> I highly doubt that, but I'm just, I'm just saying. So uh, let me know if you want to get a couple scans. I've got the life system, you know, so a lot of these complex uh, issues that are people having, sometimes I can dig a little deeper, help um, get your body out of fight or flight right? So if you're reacting to a lot of foods, reacting to a lot of supplements, sometimes you got to get that nervous system resetting. And that's one thing that these, these scanners are really good at helping do is to do that gently. Um, if you're wanting to know more about the oils and the face scanner, like that's really, that's, I can't get over how amazing that's been. Um, I can't believe it's taken me this long to get into oils. Like I've been a practitioner since 2013 and I've always kind of like poo pooed the oils and now I've, I've got a diffuser in every room. <laughs> My husband's got a pendant that has a pad around his neck so he can change the oils out. He's got oils, you know, I put it on the bottom of my feet. I, yeah, I, I'm absolutely loving the oils. Um, so yeah, I really, I love getting back down to the basics and the fundamentals of fundamentals of how we work and why. And so, you know, making sure you, like I said, you're getting enough minerals, getting enough electrolytes, um, getting enough time out in in, in uh, nature, uh, getting your feet on the ground. Um, but there's a lot of other ways that you can kind of help recharge that battery, help recharge your bioenergetic self. So uh, stay tuned. Have a healthy day. EMF rocks, truly rocks. I adore this product. I am very sensitive. Most of us that have chronic illness, especially Lyme disease, are sensitive to EMFs. I can actually run a DNA test to show you if you're gonna be sensitive to EMFs. Isn't that amazing? Anywho, I've tried a lot of different products out there and the one that I have found that works and that's simple and elegant is EMF Rocks. Um, you can also get a uh, little Faraday cage bags for your uh, cell phones. That's what I put my cell phone in when I am working at the computer. One, it kind of helps me stay focused on what I'm doing and not getting interrupted by my phone, but it also helps uh, mitigate the EMFs from the, coming from the phone 
And then I have the rocks with me when I'm working at my desk. I actually uh, have the rocks in bed with me when I sleep at night. And then sometimes if I'm going on long car trips, I'll bring it with me then to help mitigate the EMFs that are bouncing around in the car. Um, check them out at the resource section on my website. It's the lamboss.com resource section. Trust me, you're going to love yours and you're going to want to get more. I, I need more rocks. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this episode. Even if you found one little piece of inspiring nugget in it, this is how we change people's lives. This is how people get better. This is how people get hope. So please make sure that you are liking, sharing, and subscribing. Stay tuned for the next episode. You're not going to want to miss it. And while you're at it, head to my website, thelimeboss.com, and make sure you download your free video series, Real Cooking for Real Life. Learn amazing, delicious meals in 20 minutes or less. Learn why and how we cook certain things that are toxin-free, free of contaminants, and, and how to get a delicious, healthy meal under 20 minutes. You're not going to want to miss out. That's thelimeboss.com.